What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's Friday, it's the weekend, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. I need to put a put an order in for like a platter or something. I gotta get, get something going for the Super Bowl here. Running out of time. Usually, you want 24 hours in advance. That means today's gonna be my deadline. Question is, what is Rip going to get? That's the beautiful question about all this. In this episode, we need to talk about an XRP whale dumping a crap ton of XRP. Ethereum security is the massive plot finally underway. And it looks like it. And if Ethereum is going to be a security, I don't know if we're going to be getting an ETF anytime soon. What does that mean? Well, it's time for XRP to get an ETF. It's time for that institutional money to come on in. We're going to talk about the stock market in a rally. What that means for the crypto markets, XRP's road to $1.88. I got you covered. We're going to go over the chart because it is playing out like a thing of beauty. But I know everyone's like, rip, XRP still 50 cents. Rip, XRP doesn't move. Rip, XRP is not performing like the other, the other markets. What did you think was going to happen? This has been the story for XRP every single bull run. It's the last one to pop off. It's the last one to rotate. We haven't even really begun to see the crypto markets pop off. And you want XRP to pop off? Not so fast, buckaroo. Then we're going to talk about India and XRP. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Bitcoin. $47,246. We are down $1.00. Since this morning's video, that's correct. It's currently up 5.49% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2,506. It's up 3.43%. USDT and USDC both coming in at a dollar. Just where we want to see them, folks. And XRP, as stated before, and I'll state it again, a mean lean, 52 cents. That's correct. It is up 1.86% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 1 trillion 800 billion. If you didn't watch this morning's video, you should probably go give it a watch because I gave you the warning about Bitcoin and where Bitcoin needs to go, where the total cryptocurrency market cap needs to go in order for these markets to start to pop off. I'm just saying, don't know what you do if you didn't watch it, folks. XRP whale. Well, you know, just another day. In the neighborhood, I guess. 58 million tokens offloaded. Interesting, right? 57.75 million to be exact. XRP was offloaded a bit step and bit so. Not sure what's going on. Not sure who the whale is. Wish we had a little insight on this whale, what they're doing and why they're doing it. But unfortunately, we do not. But what we do know, as you can see in the upper right hand corner of your screen, is the Bitcoin halving is almost less than two months away. I'm excited. I love this time of the year. I don't know, what should I say? You know, Bitcoin halvings. We know what goes down. The markets go up. Bada beam, bada boom. Ethereum. Pro, pro, mo. Ethereum test. I'm probably jacking that name up. Beautiful picture of Gary Gensler over here on the right. The only U.S. registered crypto securities platform is listing Ethereum in a bold test of the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission thesis that most cryptocurrencies are securities. Interesting, right? And we know to tie in to China here, which is very interesting. But this week, Pro... Pro, pro prompt Ethereum. I don't. I yeah. You know what I'm saying here. A weirdly anormality as being the only U.S. registered crypto securities platform. So what do we have? We have this new platform, which is the crypto securities platform. The only thing that they're listing is Ethereum. Very interesting. Very very interesting. You can't make this stuff up. I'm serious. James Rule, the plot to make Ethereum, uh, the plot to make Ethereum a security. What happens next? I mean, here it is right here. You got to pay to read it, but you pretty much guess it. Here is the guy, Aaron Kaplan. I mean, he opened up this new exchange and it's to list crypto securities. And the first thing and the only thing that he has listed is Ethereum. So I, I guess Ethereum is a security. Are they finally admitting it? That's what I'm getting from this. They're finally admitting Ethereum is a security. Crypto stocks, or, or excuse me, yeah, crypto stock rally pre-market as Bitcoin tops 46K. Since Bitcoin climbed over 46,000 for the first time in nearly a month, extending its gain for the week nearly 10%. It says mining firm CleanSpark led the way up nearly 20%. So crypto stocks are going up here as the price of Bitcoin's going up. I mean, it's it's 
pretty self-explanatory why this is happening, right? Crypto stocks such as Coin, MSTR, and mining firms CLSK, Riot, and Mara all ticked upward in pre-market trading on Friday, all because the price of Bitcoin is going up. And what's going to happen? I expect these stocks to continue to go up and continue to rise, especially as we are 61 days out from the halving. Because what happens during the halving or after the halving? Well, the price of Bitcoin is going to make an old, brand new all time high. XRP road to $1.88. Dark Defender just wanted to give you an update. Let me blow this up for those of you looking at the screen. There's the RSI resistance. We have broken through the resistance, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. 52.528, uh, which we are very, very close to, is uh, is what we're looking at right now to get through. Once that happens, we can talk about getting up into that 60 mid-60 cent range, and that is going to take us closer and closer to that $1.88 path. So what has to happen here? Well, I think it's very simple. XRP, 52 cents. It's awful. I know. We need to break out. We need to get up into the 60 cent range. That's what we're looking at. When that can happen, we're going to be looking at the breakthrough. To set. I mean, every stop is going to be hurdles for XRP. But I do think once we get past, I believe it's around like 72 cents. I don't have my chart pulled up in front of me. But I do believe it's about 72 cents. I will put out an updated chart in the Patreon group to let them know what's going on out here. But once we do get past that mark, folks, it is time uh, for acceleration. And we will get through that Dow threshold. Remember, we got two super, super key areas of resistance that we need to pay attention to for xrp not what you want to hear but i'm going to tell you the truth a dollar 92 that was last bull cycles uh all-time high that's where we hit a a big a big block in the road i mean it didn't help that the sec dropped the lawsuit on top of xrp at that point i should say on top of ripple at that point which really kicked us backwards a gear and then the old two dollars and 88 cent mark we can even call it three dollars if you want that is another key area but once those are broken you know what happens price discovery you know what xrp hasn't seen since 2017 2018 which is about seven to eight years price discovery what is price discovery for those of you that are new well it's simple it's when a cryptocurrency breaks its all-time high and then there is no telling where it's going to go you want to know why because there's no data up there no chart is going to tell you the way you could take as many charts overlay them on top of each other but that's not how things work price discovery the lid gets blown off what happens when the lid gets blown off well we're going to see what xrp is really all about could we see a double digit xrp you better bet your bottom dollar we can could we see a 15 to 20 dollar xrp you better bet your dollar bottom dollar we can we don't know where the price of xrp will go once we get price discovery and anyone tells you that they have this magical chart that's going to tell you where xrp is going when it breaks above its previous all-time high or two previous all-time highs back in 2017 2018 when we hit that two dollars and 88 cent mark and we call three dollars in this channel just for the simplicity factor they're wrong if they want to tell you that they do know where it's going to go, where it breaks all time high, I need you to tell, ask them to tell me what's going to happen tomorrow or the day after or what the lateral numbers are going to be because they have some crystal ball that no one has ever seen or even paid attention to out there. Because if there's no data and something has never been there before, no one knows, folks. It's almost like predicting what's going to happen a month from now. We don't know. We don't know. Yasin, to date, Ripple holds. A New York bit license and has secured money transmitter licenses in nearly 40 jurisdictions in the U.S. That's big. That is absolutely big. 40 jurisdictions in the U.S. Question is still. We heard from the ex-Ripple employee that there is big news coming out in regards to Ripple and XRP. We're seeing the news in the Ripple market reports about the U.S. jurisdictions and a money transmitter license. Why would they be getting a money transmitter license? Something's cooking. I thought it was going to be a U.S. partnership. It could be. It could be a partnership with a bank that's going to allow uh, the bank to be able to move money or to tap into on-demand liquidity payments. I don't know. I really don't know. That's my best guess. Time is going to tell. My man Jack put this out. Banks in India are testing XRP on the private ledger to bridge money. From A to B, David Schwartz, the public val the public ledger has the same value like the private ledger. The switch will be flipped soon. We are working with Ripple XRP on their CBDC platform, 
And we are consulting small countries, not like India. So they are very advanced. We are already into the CBDC platform. We are consulting small countries as one of the advisory uh, paper submission and everything on the CBDC, how they can move to CBDC. Mr. So Solomon Ashok, founder. So it's pretty big, right? Banks in India are testing XRP on the private ledger to bridge money from A to B. What does that mean? I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, what what does the private ledger mean? Let's be honest. Are we going to see this volume come over to the public ledger? Powell is using the public ledger for this central bank digital currency test, which is the United States dollar. Oh, light bulb just went off. Powell's been testing the U.S. dollar for their for the national uh, central bank digital currency, right? Which is backed by the dollar, the United States dollar. Ripple has money transmitter licenses. I've said for a long time that I think Palau might be a testing ground for the feds. If Ripple is being positioned to move money all around the United States and this test is undergoing in Palau, could we be something happening here? Think about that for a second, folks. That just, that just clicked. Don't sleep on Palau and what they're doing over there. Ripple could have tested their platform anywhere else in the world. But instead, they chose the island nations of Palau to use the United States dollar as backing. Could that be the test grounds like I've been stating for quite some time? That's interesting. I can't wait. We don't know when this news is going to come out. He just said that it's coming soon. Soon could mean a month, two months, three months. We really don't know. Everyone's definition of soon, it's very, very uh, widespread, right? Huh. Very interesting. Let's keep an eye on that. I'll keep doing some more research. Let me see what I can find. I'm going to leave it like that, though. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice. Be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.